Good morning, I'm Todd Townsend. And I'm Carol Corden Blue, and we are here with today's news. All right. Millions showed for President Clinton's inauguration yesterday. In fact, the International Space Station sent us an image of Hillary's pantsuit nation from space. Probably the biggest crowd I've ever seen. And Taylor can also confirm those numbers. Donald Trump holds competing event at the Trump Hotel in D.C., which he is calling the Million Man Stakeout, and claims that more people show than to Clinton's inauguration. At the event, Trump announced his launch of Trump TV in a series of tweets. For example, hashtag Trump TV is your new and only source of news. It's coming soon. One. This just in, Todd. America is divided and everyone is fighting. The hashtag secede from the libtards has begun trending in middle America as the country becomes further divided. President Clinton has already begun choosing cabinet members, including Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook as Secretary of Treasury. Clinton also reached out to President Obama for a cabinet position, but he is currently not returning calls. Fox News has announced Megyn Kelly will join Fox and Friends in the morning, in addition to her Kelly File show every weeknight. That's right, Todd. She'll be hosting two shows a week. You know, that probably wouldn't have happened if Trump had been president. Not at all. After being forced out of Fox News, Bill O'Reilly has joined the rapidly growing Trump TV. In unrelated news, the White House has immediately stopped the century-old intern program. Trump fires all Trump TV employees in an hour-long live TV special, replaces all positions overnight, mostly with himself. Should be fun. America's first dad, VP Tim Kaine, gave a moving and entirely apolitical speech at the Boy Scouts Jamboree. He ended his speech by throwing fruit snacks into the crowd and saying, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. No! Oh! <laughs> Free agent Colin Kaepernick visited President Clinton at the White House this week to discuss the Black Lives Matter movement. Meanwhile, Hillary tries a little too hard to connect with members of the black community when she greets NFL players like this. President Clinton's approval ratings sunk to 43% after more revelations involving the Trump dossier. Representative Trey Gowdy has created a committee to investigate it further. Jason Chaffetz announced he will also be forming a committee and that he will never, ever retire. Meanwhile, Speaker Ryan is enjoying very high ratings after his appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Dozens of women have come forward accusing Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault. This has emboldened women in all industries to come forward and tell oh, their hold stories on, Carol, and not I'm going to have silenced. to cut you off. We have breaking okay. news. First gentleman, Bill Clinton, has moved to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Here's the first images of him throwing out supplies. Can you imagine what it would be like if he lacked basic human empathy? Charming fella. Thanks. Treasury Secretary Sheryl Sandberg, formerly of Facebook, takes a leave of absence amidst the hearings on Russian meddling in the 2016 election. Republicans say they won't stop until they get answers, whatever it takes. 20 hours, a full term, the rest of Hillary's lifetime, 20 more lifetimes, whatever it takes to get Hillary indicted. That's that does not look good for her. Not look good mm. for the whole Clinton administration. Mm. This just in, Todd. America is still divided and everyone is still fighting. That sucks. The White House Happy Holidays card has struck a chord amongst conservative Americans, especially the Trump TV base. The Clintons dressed up like snowflakes and offended basically everyone. It was incredibly offensive. It was also announced that there would be an exciting new Ben & Jerry's ice cream flavor called Cane's Vanilla Bean. Early reviews say that it is practically flavorless. It is, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Democracy needs you. Click below to make sure that it lives. Hurry. Please do it.